cool intro sound. All right, how's it going, guys? Alpha Y Joe back at it again, and today I'm bringing you something a little bit different, which is a test hand slash combo display sort of video. And I apologize because I'm a little bit sick right now, and I might be stumbling my words a little bit here and there. So I apologize if I do sound a little funky right now, but. Today I'm going to show off what this deck can do when you don't open up the Coach King Trainer combo. A lot of people have been asking, when you don't open the Coach King Trainer combo, what do you really do? When you don't open those turbo cards or those pendulum cards, like what do you really do? This video is to help kind of address that. Not every hand can facilitate a super strong, amazing board. The way the deck is built right now, it's going to try its best to always open that combo up, but sometimes you can't guarantee that combo always being in your opening hand. So you have to make do with what you got. Sometimes the meme has to be live. If we can make two monsters, we can make Orcus combo, and it's obviously not the best thing we can do, but it's better than just not having any interaction on our opponent's turn and just getting straight up OTK right then and there. But before we get right into it, I just want to showcase off a little bit of some changes that we made. Only real changes here is when we changed the Lancelot to Hope Carpenter. I did make a mistake with Lancelot that it unfortunately negates your own effects as a mandatory thing following up its summon. So it does screw up your combo. And the, the combo I showed off in the videos prior to this, it doesn't matter as long as you put up another rank 8 other than Lancelot. The combo is still alive, the combo still works. You just have to make a different rank 8. And following that, because one of the reasons I ran Lancelot is because of synergy with Dingirsu, I also opted to switch out Dingirsu for an Apollo Ursa. I apologize for the proxy. But Apollo Ursa just works so well with this deck because sometimes you just spam the board with monsters that might not match up well into other extra deck negates, but can still link away into a really great boss monster in of Apollo Ursa. So with that, I am running Apollo Ursa instead of Ding because I also like the fact that sometimes ending on the two Orcus Link monsters helps a lot more because when one of them gets disrupted or gets messed with, the other one is still alive to keep your crescendo alive. So in that regard, I actually do like Apollo Ursa a little bit more than Ding at the moment, but of course you can change it to however you like. This is just small changes I made. To help this deck out. So without further ado, let's just get right into the combo. I do apologize if there's any noises coming from the table. This is a weird table I'm using at the moment. And of course we have a shuffle already, but we'll just give it a shuffle or two right here. I'll try my best to showcase off at least two hands for you guys. At least two hands without the without full combo. So we'll draw one. Alright, so in this hand here. Obviously, we have a lot of good cards. I mean, there's some weird things we could do, theoretically, where you could dump Swirl Slime with this, Special Dark Ragnarok as your second Pendulum monster for Kepler to go into Electromite and go off from there, which honestly is actually very doable because we still have the first effect of Swirl Slime in our hand. So to showcase off here, we'll use Foolish Burial. Oh, I had, oh, what's that doing there? Jeez. Send our Swirl Slime. Source Slime Banish to summon that Ragnarok. Obviously that normal of the Kepler to get ourselves. Contract, getting ourselves Thomas. And then we link these two off into Electromite. When it's set up like this, it's really nice because you can use Electromite to send yourself a second Ragnarok because from this point on, we'll be able to scale our Thomas Use it using effect to get ourselves a Kepler. Electromite to pop our Thomas to get ourselves a Ragnarok. And when we scale that Ragnarok and scale that Kepler, whenever we summon a DD monster, we have an extra recursion. Because obviously we'll just pen these two. We'll go into the full combo by popping this. Obviously you guys have seen this a million times by now because I've done this a million times basically. Detach these two, you draw three. Uh, doesn't even really matter if you whiff or not, but you know, let's just go for a lure. Go into second Copernicus, so one for one. Okay, so we'll banish the, that second Copernicus. We have obviously a lot of tools at our disposal, and from this point on, you can just use these two to make two negates plus the Orcus combo for extra negate. But because you drew one for one, it basically means you can go into synchro plays as well, which means you can basically go off into the full DD Orcus combo. So no especially needed there, I just wanted to showcase the fact that even if you don't open a turbo card, it helps being able to just use your other DD Pendulum monsters as a means to get into that combo. So we'll start shuffling up from there. 
Depending on what time saying, maybe I'll get a third combo in because that combo was still a Coach King trainer combo. So I'll try to showcase more hands where we don't open that. This hand is unique, but it's still it's still playable to a degree. Well, normal Kepler. Get ourselves our contract. Contract to get ourselves Swirl Slime. We'll use Swirl Slime plus our Lamia to go into D Arc, and then we'll use these two to basically go into Phoenix and into our Mermaid. Pitching our Harpoor, summoning our Nightmare. We'll use Swirl Slime's effect to banish itself, especially off that Ragnarok. Ragnarok will be able to summon back our Oracle King. And obviously from this point on, we can just use something like Pop Contract, Special Lamia, Banishing Lamia, and our Oracle King. Just end on something like Boral Savage, equipping our Phoenix. And then we'll just be able to go into full Orcus combo from here. We'll link the Mermaid and the Nightmare off into Galatea. Nightmare would banish itself. Send her Symbol Skeleton. We'll use the Harpoor we discarded earlier to summon our Orcus Nightmare, just so we don't draw into it later. We'll go into our Longirsu. Banishing that Symbol Skeleton. Summon that Galatea out. And of course Galatea will spin back. Let's say Symbol Skeleton for the sake of argument. Into our Shendo. And from this point on, we have a decent follow play because we still have one Kepler in hand that we can normally get a contract. We have one Oracle King for fodder later. And of course, we end with two Omni Negates, which isn't the best, which isn't the worst. So there's probably different ways you guys could have probably seen in that combo. I apologize if I did not see the right combo in that hand. But you're still able to end on Negate and a board, even if you end up drawing. No means for a Coast King Trainer combo. I should really not be filming when I'm sick. I cannot think straight. I cannot combo like this. So, go with that, that. This hand, unfortunately, is just basically using these two for Orcus combo and sending off and hopefully drawing into a card to establish a turn after. Okay, well, this is basically combo. Okay. Okay, that, well, I mean, unfortunately, that's also still combo. So this hand is a little funny in the fact that it's kind of combo, but at the same time it's not. So we'll be able to showcase a little bit of what this hand can do. So we'll skill curtain raiser, special curtain raiser, no more curtain raiser. Link off into where is into our electromite. And we'll be sending Kepler. We'll be using our contract to get ourselves a Thomas. Skill Thomas using effect to get ourselves that. Kepler, Electromite's effect to pop our Thomas to add back our Curtain Razor. Obviously, we'll draw one. So we'll be able to scale Kepler. We can scale Cerberus. It could be the Curtain Razor, but I'm just using Cerberus because it's more useful to scale once we pop that Kepler because we'll pen summon that Thomas. Thomas' effect will pop that Kepler, summoning out. That right rock. This miraculously ended up being the Coach King trainer combo still because we can use Cerberus's effect to pop itself to get ourselves a Jackal King. Jackal King in scale popping itself. Cerberus being allowed to special itself. We will then go be able to go into Coach King trainer combo right then and there. Wow, that's actually really good. <laughs> so, but we'll, you know what? For the sake of argument, let's say I didn't draw into Cerberus because that's a bit unfair. We'll just say use that initial curtain raiser. We'll use the Thomas to pop that Kepler. Some of that Ragnarok from our deck, and then we can go into Parvenger. We'll be able to use Soul Sign and Lamia to go into that D arc. And then we'll use Lamia's effect to pop that contract. 
bringing out that Lamia. And then we will, unfortunately she gets banished, but we'll just go into Mystic Food right there. That's why I sometimes say you want to run Photon Lord sometimes because there's a lot of cases like this where you end up on a Siegfried plus a rank 8 and you'd rather have a spell slash trap negate plus a Photon Lord which is a monster in your gate. So keep that in mind when you're putting this deck together, that is one way you want to go about it. Wow, I can't believe we... That, that draw off the top basically let us co combo fully, which is actually really insane if you really think about it. That's that's actually one way you guys can think about it. Cerberus is actually so good in that situation. But that was a little unfair, so we'll go off another test hand. Thomas, Cerberus, running off, Lamia, Soft King. This hand's a little weird, but we'll try our best. We'll scale Cerberus, popping it. Oh, there it is, Jackal King. We'll scale Ragnarok, we'll use Swamp King to fuse our Lamia plus our Thomas to go into regular Genghis, and then from there Ragnarok's effect will allow us to summon Thomas, and then Genghis' effect will allow us to summon Lamia. And from this point on, we are able to use Thomas' effect to pop our Ragnarok, summon that other Ragnarok, and then from here we are able to use these two into our Phoenix, and then we can now go into our Mermaid. Now from this point on, we have one of two options. We can use this Jackal King to discard, to summon our Nightmare, go into Orcus combo, plus a Rank Gate. We have those two options right here for us. We have that option for us, but a second option we have, because we have the Jackal King, is to not use Mermaid's effect right now. We will be disregarding that, and we can use Jackal King right here, popping it to summon that Cerberus, and we can now go Rank. 8 into Coach King Trainer. Obviously, you can then discard all three, drawing into what is basically uh, taken. That this is very much disappointing and the only thing you can do here. And so, this is the reason why you gotta choose yourself. You just wanna run end on a rank 8 and the Orcus combo, or do you wanna get greedy? Obviously, for me, I got greedy and I paid for it. But uh, thankfully, if you do end up being greedy like me, you can still remedy the situation. You can go, uh, you can dump Harpoor off the Foolish, banish that, sending out the Nightmare. And then from here we can just go Galatea, use Nightmare's effect to dump Simple Skeleton. We'll link these two off, Longirsu. And then we use Simple Skeleton's effect to banish itself, to special that Galatea. We don't even have to use the Orcus combos because we have the Crescendo. <laughs> but at least we have a service for follow-up plays, I guess. And we have a Song Kick. Oh, we drew into a 1 for 1, that's actually really good. So, don't be greedy, just use, just end on the gates that you're given. Don't, uh, don't, don't go for more. With that said guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that last combo was very, very troll. Unfortunately, I am very sick, so this commentary might have not been super lively. I am dying, my throat is about to end itself. But hopefully you got a little bit of a glimpse of what the deck can do, even if you don't open up the optimal combos. Every hand can at least work this combo, which isn't the best, but it lets you live a turn, it lets you play until the next turn, which is really important for this deck. And above all, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.